Let's see if the DAX takes us takes us through the move. But it's going to be a 20 point budget. Let's see. Let's see if it stays. Oops. Yeah, it does. So it actually, we get long the DAX and the NAS. NAS moved through. I didn't. Wow. I'm surprised the NAS moved through big time. Um, where's the NAS? So the NAS took a big move here through this move, and now it's moving against us. Well, you know, um, we took the trade. A uh, lot of volatility. I guess it was a uh, took us into. Um, how, what was the high on this? High low on this? Maybe it was just missed the budget. Oh no, it's not. It doesn't look as bad as on on the uh, on the charts. All right, we're gonna stay patient with the NAS, even though it, it, it's it's uh, it's very very spiky and may not today may not um, may not work to the upside. Um, No, it doesn't look like it's gonna it's gonna work for us. The NAS just took a big boom. The NAS got topped, and we're out of the NAS. And now the only thing we have is the downside move. And let's see if the downside move um, provides us with any um, with any trace to the upside. Where's the uh, where's the the uh, uh, the DAX is holding a little bit better, but still un underneath the um, um, the move here. Where's the Dow? Um, the Dow is uh, struggling to the downside. Very choppy, choppy price action today. Not a lot of uh, uh, opening, opening range um, direction. The DAX is working a little bit better. Let's see if the DAX is picking up a little bit of movement here. I'm gonna take DAX at seven. I'm just gonna take the DAX at seven. Um, Cause it's very, very choppy. You see this, there's very little uh, forward action here one way or the other. Uh, what is this? Okay, so this is the NAS again. All right, we're gonna go back to the to, to the uh, to the well and see if we can um, see if we can buy the DAX again uh, on this on this candle over here. Let's see if that candle uh, provides a better entry for us. If this was yet another fake out, you know, if this was a short fake out on the DAX. Excuse me, short fake out on the uh, on the NAS and then NAS could work um, this time. Let's see if the NAS works this time. It's a big, big ups candle. You see, it just NAS is just, just a lot of volatility today, right? So, oh, the Dow, now the Dow triggered to the downside. So now, now we're trading the, uh, the <laughs> now the Dow took us, it took us in, um, in, in, into the downside direction. Um, and I really don't like this trade, but, I'm gonna take the Dow here at plus four. Just to take that because again, I'm looking. Oh no, the Dax reversed. So I, you know, I faked myself out a little bit. So Dax did. Dax did not give us a um, a clean upside move. I was a big, big reversal on the Dax. I guess the Dow would have gone. Would have gone. Nah, Dow. Dow is kind of hanging. So it was good that we got out, got out of the Dow. The the Nas reversed completely. Um, do we still have the 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 cell the cell candle in the NAS? Okay, so this is interesting. Let's see if the cell candle in the NAS is working. Is going to work? Wow, what a what a ugly ass choppy price action this morning. Just very very little continuity either way. So I think, I'm not sure, maybe the DAX did hit, would have hit plus 10. I don't know if you guys are trading it, if, if anybody took the DAX for a full 10, but it definitely went seven or eight uh, into the direction. The Dow, 
it was a good idea for me to cover short because I really didn't have a lot of confidence in that short because um, I still th I still thought that we're going to reverse. But now the DAX, now the NAS triggered a, um, a short. NAS could be uh, our nightmare of the day today if it if it doesn't go. But it's it, you know let's presumably assume that it looks like it's going it's go oh, fudge. I really wanted to I really wanted to to, uh, to hit target here. All right, I'm going to try to be patient with this thing. All right, seven, seven, ah, fuck. All right, six um, on the NAS. It probably goes to 10, but, um, you know, I'll give it. I'm just getting, I'm getting, you know, battered by by the fake out. And I'm, although this, this looks like it's the right down, you know, it's the right, ah, nothing looks good today. So um, good enough to, to kind of, uh, to give us a little bit of juice, but you can see very, very, very ugly uh, two-way price action, just like nothing. You know, usually the straddle is, is a pretty good strategy on the open, but today it was just all fake, fake out both ways. And the fact that the first, you know, the, the fake out was to the upside um, made me very cautious on the move to the downside. So that's why I'm, um, you know, I, I got I got out of all of them relatively quickly, not not to full target. Um, So let's uh, we'll give it a little more time. Let's see if we can get a a, a second wave set up here. Maybe after the first twenty minutes, the market is going to find. Uh, uh, Trump is tweeting that all the polls are fake. Okay. Yeah. Um, Really, really choppy price action. You see, so you know, you could again. This is a negative candle. You could have taken, you know, you could have taken this to the upside as a um, um, as a potential break of this negative candle. And you see how how uh, uh, spiky it is to the upside. What do I have here? Oh, this is the reference candle on this Nas. So that's the old reference candle. This is the reference candle that, that was the turn candle. This is the reference candle that is the, uh, it's an old reference candle. So it really should not be the, um, the trade. I'm gonna cancel this up. Okay, um, let, we're gonna let the NAS settle down a little bit and just try to figure out what the hell I wanna do. This is actually, so if we're looking at this, this is a buy candle in a downtrend. We should really be setting up a sell to the downside. So let's just do this. 690. And let's park ourselves over here. If the tug of war is to the downside, this would be a legitimate, this is a negative slice. Buy candle break of that should be a legitimate trade to the downside. Um, let's set, set ourselves up for, for some possibilities. What's on the, uh, oh, the Dow I'm missing. The, no, yeah, the Dow I'm missing the turn here. So here, I'm gonna, if, with 33 seconds left, let me see if I can set this up. Maybe I might be able to set this up. Um, uh, I'm set, setting this up against this. Why is this not letting me set up against this? Oh, because of this? Okay. So if it breaks the low here in the down, right over here against the high here, and it's not, so far not, that's another legitimate sell because that's a turn setup. We have a buy candle on a uh, on a turn that fails. So you know if that doesn't work, that doesn't work. But it looks like everything is turning back up now, so we have no no trades to the downside. And now we really have to just be we we can't use this reference point because it's not a legitimate reference reference point. It, it it's uh, it's not a true it, it's it's a reference point, but it's not a true setup of what we want to do. We need a we need to actually up slice negative. Uh, break to the upside move. Um, wow, what a choppy ass day today. Okay, so the DAX has the only legitimate reference point setting up for us on the buy side. Let's do this at 34. Let me see if this uh, kind of plays out for us. And that puts that would put us right over here. Would put us into into a buy trade on a legitimate 
break of this high. Let's see if that happens. If it can actually hold this high, I'm not even sure. Okay, so DAX puts us into a trade. But I'll be honest with you, these, these moves are so slow. I'm gonna put six on the DAX. See if I can, because I just don't, I don't wanna watch it. Okay, it's a legitimate, relatively legitimate trade for us on, on the DAX. The NAS looks like it's trying to struggle to go back up. The Dow is definitely starting to go back up. Um, the DAX is slowly, slowly, slowly. Come in, European stocks, how boring are they? All right, let's take four. Let's take four on the DAX. That's good enough. I'm just trying to battle out today um, and see if we can get some trades, um, trades in the house. Okay. That's it as far as juice goes um, to the upside right now. Uh, this creates a higher buy arrow. If this, if this candle closes on a buy arrow, we're going to be able to get underneath this buy arrow. But, you know, that's a big if. You see how this, everything is turning around? It's very, very uh, – today's price action, today's kind of very, very choppy, uncertain. I have no direction. I don't know what I'm doing. Price action is the single most challenging type of price action for us to trade because we're, we're all about um, continuity, one way or the other, you know, break, break of continuity to the upside, break of con con continuity to the downside, but we're all about continuity. And what today's price action is all about discontinuity, right? So very important to, to appreciate and understand that. And that's why to trade this uh, with particular caution and really not look to, you know, to win huge just to take as many legitimate signals as possible and then manage them as carefully as possible, right? So this just missed our down, just missed the downside move for us. So we will have to see what this candle does. If this candle stays below the, um, the close, um, you know, we'll see if, if, if that works or, you know, they're gonna, they're gonna yank it back up. Um, very, very uh, choppy price action here. Um, Got 30 seconds left in the DAX in the uh, in the NAS. Um, I'm actually curious how did the, how did the DAX uh, materialize? Uh, yeah, it's, it's actually good that I got out of plus four because it's just it's not a lot of continuity. One of the things I noticed about the European European indices is they have far less juice than the U.S. indices at this point. Um, where are we? Okay, so the the Dow. Reference point comes in over here now underneath this. Again, if we fail in the Dow, so what is this? Oh, the NAS, NAS does trigger a sell point for us on this particular candle, which wasn't great, but like, let's just give it a shot. Um, you know, I don't love the fact that they, they, they bought the lows and brought it back up. It's kind of a bullish candle. So it, it could just be another fake out of the DAX, but, but maybe they're finally, finally trying to establish some downward momentum. Here, so let's give this. Let's be let's be uh, patient with this. And oh, there you go. let me see if I can take just put seven on this and just be a little bit more patient on this. Oh, all right. I'm gonna take. Six. I was trying to take six. Okay, six is good enough. Um, only because again, the price action today is just just horrifically um, choppy. 